Hey, what's up everyone? It's Chip Walters here for another Moe 3D tutorial. This time I'm going to use a new tool called Pattern Nodes. Uh, it's only available for the Macintosh, unfortunately, but it is a node pattern generator. Uh, I got this idea from Max Smirnovs. He's got a pattern, he's got a node generator also for Moe, but I don't think it's quite as sophisticated as, as this tool. So what's great about this tool is that it actually generates it generates uh, uh, images, right, uh, or, or, or vectors. And if you notice, like for instance, I can take this size and I can change it as I change it. This little area right here is the vector. It actually can actually make tileable things as well. Um, I can change the angle. You can see I'm changing the angle. I can say replace node with a circle. There's the circle and. And so what I want to do is I'm going to make a speaker pattern today. So to do that, I'm going to, I'm going to cut these guys out. Oops, I'm going to, that's my, I need my output, my graphics output. Okay, so I'm going to take this and make it 400. The width is going to be 400 by 400. Uh, and so this is my dot. I'm going to use a dot, and I'm going to put the position right in the middle. So that's 200, 200 by 200. And you see now we have the dot right in the middle. So uh, I don't really care about the color. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little darker so you guys can see it maybe better, but uh, that's that's our dot color. Uh, it's going to be a vector when we get done. So uh, first things first, uh, I'm going to right click on this line. And I'm going to say add node on connection and I'm going to take a radial node. You can see here we have radial node and I'll make a count of, let's say, I'll do maybe eight eight of these guys, maybe maybe nine, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll start playing with it. Uh, and I'm gonna use multiple layers, right? So the layers are gonna be probably somewhere like eight. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna make the size, start off the size at maybe five. There we go, now we're starting to get a little better. Maybe, maybe make it 10. Um, the count. I can increase the count. What I'm looking for is how close these are getting to get at the bottom. I can move this radius out as they get a little bigger. So now I'm starting to get my my array. I can also come in here. Oops. Uh, I can add this count here. You can see I'm starting to add a little bit more of a count. And the count offset, that's actually how many times around that second tier is going. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start stop right there. Now I could use that as a speaker. Uh, kind of a speaker detail if I want to, but first I want to make these things scale on the way smaller in the middle, fatter on the way out. So I'm going to actually to add a node connection. I'm going to use this array operators, and it's called function. Okay. So what I've done is now I've gotten smaller in the middle, going farther out, uh, and you can see that. Uh, so I'm going to say the minimum. I'm going to make them a little smaller in the minimum, and the maximum. I'm going to make these a little smaller too. So now I've already got kind of a nice little speaker pattern. I think I'm going to uh, make my count offset just a little bit less there. Wait, four, three, yeah, something like that. I think I like that. And maybe this, this scale in the middle, maybe it's a little bit larger. There, so that actually is what I like pretty much. So uh, from here, I'm going to go from here into Bowie 3D. And the way I do that is I'm going to click on this no background button uh, and and I go up here and I'll just say copy pattern vectors, just like that. Now I'm going to switch over to Moe. Here we go. And I'm just hit paste. So there it is. I'm, I paste them right there. Uh, and now I'm going to go into my external scripts and I'm going to center this at the origin. Uh, now that it's centered, I'm going to hit the E button and I'm going to extrude these up. delete the original ones. Select all these. I'm going to call these my, these are going to be my rods. Okay. Now I'm going to take a, uh, make it a square. Probably somewhere around that big right there. Looks pretty good. And let's take all these rods and let's stick them down and into it. They're, they're going to be little holes, right? So I'm going to stick them, whoops, stick them down into it. And let's turn them off. And uh, 
zoom out a little bit, uh, and then uh, then I'm going to use the uh, solid tool. I'm going to take a sphere, and I'm going to make it uh, probably kind of big, something like that. Okay, so now I take that, and I'll take the uh, the sphere. Say boolean intersect. Just like this, delete. And now that I've got that, I'm going to hit this. I'll say planar. So I've just made this a plane, and I'll delete that curve, but that's a plane. And then I'm going to go in the polygon tool and just draw a line here. And I'm going to boolean subtract this. There. So I've got this now. You can see what we've got here. So we have all this. Now I'm going to go back in here, turn the rods back on, select those, go to transform, go to the flow. I'm going to click right here on this, and I'm going to select the target surface near the edge I want, and it should flow all these up onto this, this top surface. It looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm done with that. Let's take all this, and we're going to hit the delete button, and I'm going to take this and say boolean Subtract all, uh, all of these, right click, okay, okay. and there we have it. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to carve out my circular component, so I'll just go to my curve circles here, we'll just move it out to so, say about right there. Again, take this, say Boolean, and uh, intersect with that. We'll cut it out. Get, delete that. And I'm going to take this and say, take a rectangle, corner to corner. Let's move it up about somewhere on here. Boolean difference. Okay, delete that. And now let's zoom out and let's go just like this. We're going to drop it right down to the, the baseline here. And there we have it. Now I want to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to basically chamfer all of these in here. So the way I'm going to do that is now that I've got those selected. I can come in here. I've selected one. I'm going to select all the rest of them. Actually, just like that. Those. Oops, let's try it again. Turn that off. And I think I can also probably want to get rid of some of these that on the bottom. Actually, really won't matter. So I'll just go into the center here uh, and hit the chamfer button. See, and I'm going to choose 0.05, see what that does. Okay, done. Got that. Okay. Now I'm going to, uh, next I'm going to uh, <coughs> put a parting line in the bottom of this. So let's go. So polygon, and I'll move this up. Hold the command key down, I can position it where I want it. So right there, do a boolean, subtract. Done. So I have two different pieces. So here I'll get this and I'll go to here get that same one oops sorry let's just do it this way we'll do that we'll do a chamfer on that done and I'm gonna come in here and do a chamfer on this done so that's gonna be just tiny little parting line do a fill it here
done. And I'm going to fill it here. Okay. And so now I just need to knock out my little button in the center. So I'll come in here and the circle. I'll go in here. And I'll take this and this and say Boolean merge. That's just basically going to separate these two objects. Okay, of this object and this object. Now I'll take my ring and I'm going to hold. I'm going to hold uh, the control key down, and that's going to force it to scale proportionally throughout the middle. And I'll go somewhere right here like this. And I'll take this. I'll say Boolean merge. Get those done. Uh, and I can delete that. So this is my button. So now. Now, let's go in here and select this, and this, chamfer these. Done. And then we take this, that, and that, and chamfer those edges. Done. And now, let's see, we've got basically, we have our, uh, here's our little, our little speaker grill. And uh, turn off the wireframe. You can see set the lighting to default. Set the lighting to clay. Or let's see, it's dramatic. Yeah. So let's see it all. So anyway, that's uh, that's how this turns out. I hope you like this uh, little tutorial. It's a quick one, but uh, I think it's uh, rather interesting. Uh, have a great day. Bye.